Welcome, Mr. Colt. It's a pleasure to be, have you on the show today. Right back at you. It's a pleasure to be on. Good. Well, if you don't already know how it works, is I ask you a question about your life, and all you have to do is answer. So without further ado, the first question, Mr. Colt, is when and where you were born. Well, I was brought onto this earth on the day of July 19th, 1814, in the town of Hartford, Connecticut. Next question. What from your childhood do you think that had the most influence on you, and what are you on today? Hmm, that's definitely a good question. Well, as a young kid, I was always tinkering with machines. I loved to think, take things apart and put them back together. It was just for fun. It was just fun for me. Interesting. Now, into the story of how the creation of your innovative six-barreled weapons came to life. As I got older, I attended Amherst Academy, where I studied navigation. Well, that school really wasn't a fit for me, or in more understandable terms, I got expelled. So in 1830, I sailed on the Corvo as a seaman. On the ship, I became fascinated as the workings of the steering wheel. From that, I carved out a wooden prototype that would lead to my invention of a rotating firearm with a six-cylinder barrel. Wow! I didn't know a ship teetering wheel could lead to something like that. So I know what you are most recognized... What... That your most recognized weapon, the point four. Five Colt wasn't ex actually your first weapon. Is that true? As a matter of fact, it is true. I created a pistol that was hi used highly in the Mexican War. It also allowed soldiers to fire more shots without having to reload quite as much. This was also the weapon of choice during our great country's Civil War. My creation of the Colt 45 wasn't until later. That leads me to my next question. With you creating all this advanced weapons, do you think of yourself as a hero or more of a bad guy? Wow, good question. Mm. Honestly, I haven't really thought of this question much, but I guess I would consider myself more of a hero. The only reason I say this is because of all the soldiers I possibly have saved by allowing them to fire off more shots than the enemies. I feel like this would be kind of a heroic thing, maybe it's just me, but I'd rather have a gun to kill an enemy than an ally. Well said, Mr. Cole. I know there were definitely some families who appreciated their son or husband coming home. However, we do have time for one more question. So it, it is when you came into the show today, you must have noticed your surroundings. What was the most mind-boggling thing or things you encountered? Mrs. Short, there were so many. The metal horses you ride in, the security I had to pass through was much more advanced, and the weapons they looked like were carrying would hurt a lot more than the ones I created. Also, all the different colored people. There was a black person that was in a suit. Is that normal? Yes, Mr. Colt. Today all people are equal no matter the color, race, or religion of a person. Well, then I most definitely say that's the most mind-blowing thing that was seen today. Well, Samuel, that's all the time we have today. I want to thank you for coming on the show today and give us a little more info on what your life was really about. Well, Mrs. Short, it's been an honor to be here, and thank you for having me. As for me, it's back to the cemetery. <laughs>